For our first award, we honor a person who is doing what he can to make sure that good values have a voice in politics. Your attention to the screen, please. At age 11, a new neighbor from another state moved next door. We became close friends. I did not know much about his faith, and so he invited me to his Sunday worship service. After church, all the youth gathered in the kitchen to eat ice cream. I went home and asked, Mom, can I go to his church from now on? A few weeks later, I invited my friend to our midweek youth activity at my church. He loved to play basketball, and he was impressed that my church had a wood basketball court with glass bank boards right in our building. He went home to his mom and asked, Mom, can I go to John's church from now on? Our moms had a good laugh at our interfaith experiences. I grew up watching a mom and a dad live the golden rule. It seemed like my mom at some point fixed a fresh plate of cinnamon rolls for everyone in our community. I was a delivery boy and I didn't complain because my mom always had extras for me to eat. I also made visits with my dad to those in need. For example, every Christmas he had about 50 widows that he visited to share a Christmas song and a gift. I learned at a young age that the greatest happiness in life comes from serving others. He had the ability to bring people of other faith together. And I know he worked with uh, particularly the Catholic Church and many others, and he brought them together to do good for the community. I'm Father Doug Lorig, pastor of St. Maria Goretti Catholic Church in Scottsdale, Arizona. I was pastor of St. Anne in Gilbert, Arizona when I met John Lewis. And it was because there was a problem with our kids in the local high school. There was a group called the Devil Dogs, some of whom were LDS kids, and they were, they were having a rough time handling uh, our Mexican kids being in their school. So I didn't know what to do about that. So I wrote a letter to Salt Lake City and said, what do I do about this? Can we pray together? That was my request. And then they didn't answer, but about a week later, I got a phone call, I think from John, and because uh, he was a bishop, and they wanted to meet with me. So I knew I'd been hurt. And then they came in the office, and there was like four or five or six of them. I think they were all bishops. So I got a lot of response. They offered a project. They said, we need to do a project together where the kids work with each other. I thought it was a brilliant idea. And they chose Guadalupe. On a beautiful Arizona Saturday, 1,000 Gilbert residents, 600 youth and 400 adults met at St. Anne's and we traveled 10 miles west to the town of Guadalupe. In one day, 18 large projects were completed. For example, about 250 volunteers started at a dirt park. Using the principle that many hands make light work, we laid sod on this very large park in minutes. Just like that, a grass park, a project that might have taken days for a small crew to do. Another example, we were scheduled to paint 15 homes, but by accident we painted 16. And I was relieved when a surprised homeowner returned to see that their home had just been painted and they said, thank you, it looks beautiful. Whew. While completion of the projects was great, we realized that service to those in need was the real treasure. Mayor Lewis is a, is a rock star uh, at, at bringing together people um, of different backgrounds, of different faiths, to accomplish a common good. He's a really worthy recipient of this award. He, in fact, encourages me as I've walked away from those conversations, well now what can I do to help others? And John Lewis does that. This is a humbling night. I have attended many of the Golden Rule Banquets and events sponsored by the Arizona Interfaith Movement. I am not worthy of a recognition, but I am pleased to receive an honor on behalf of our Golden Rule City with amazing, engaged volunteers who live and practice the Golden Rule every day. To the Arizona Interfaith Movement, you continue to let your light so shine so that others can follow to emulate your good works. 
For that, I join all in attendance tonight in saying thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, the mayor of Gilbert, Arizona, John Lewis. To Paul and to Ann and Nancy and the Arizona Interfaith Movement team, I think I just said it. Uh, you continue to shine a bright light on the entire state of Arizona. Shine on. To my lovely wife, Lucinda, I saw this, and to Arlene McCabe, on behalf of this beautiful Golden Rule license plate, through perseverance, you serve well. Serve on. And to all in attendance tonight, and especially to the faith group leaders who continue to ask that inspiring questions to mayors all over the state of Arizona, how can we help? You are appreciated. Continue to inspire on. And speaking of mayors, they're all alike. They just like to brag about their communities. Gilbert, fastest growing community in the state, recently named as the 33rd best place to live in the United States and fifth safest community in the nation. <laughs> Identified as a satellite, algae, cancer fighting, cardiovascular, and non-controversial stem cell research community. <laughs> Gilbert filled with faith, love for freedom, but from a bragging perspective, the thing that I love to say most is Gilbert, an Arizona golden rural city. And so tonight, humbly, and on behalf of 220,000 citizens who are living the golden rule, to a bragging mayor, it's just simple message, follow the team, live the golden rule. Thank you. So keep in mind.